Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an estate sale haul today. Uh, these are items purchased from an online estate sale, and there's a lot of glass here, so I'm excited to show you. Now, I did uh, pre-unwrap uh, these items because when I was there and wrapping things up, I used a lot of paper. It would have taken just a little too long to have unwrapped everything. So I went ahead and pre-unwrapped it. So it'll be a lot easier to show this haul. And if you see something you are interested in, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can send me an email. And um, everything is available um, as soon as you watch the video. Otherwise, uh, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out more haul videos, uh, buy it now videos, and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I've got a big variety of glass here. And I'm going to start with these beautiful yellow glass candle holders. I'm going to show the bottoms. Aren't those nice, nice big bases on these? Now, I haven't had a chance to clean these up yet, so you're getting them just kind of in the raw state. <laughs> I will do a little bit of cleaning, get that wax out of there, get them all shiny. Um, but yeah, these have a nice weight to them. I've got another pair of candle holders. These ones are really cool. Look at those centers. Oops, get it up here if I can. Yep, these are hard to hold on to. Isn't that neat with all of the little, um, like little glass marbles almost that were inserted into there to create that fantastic shape? And these are both double candle holders, really nicely made. Again, haven't had a chance to clean them, so you're just kind of getting them in the raw. But I think that red is really going to sparkle when I give these a wash. And then, yeah, the center is almost like a little golden. Um, yeah, I don't really have a white piece of paper handy, but yeah, there's like a little hint of yellow or like gold right in the center there. These are really nice. Okay, next item is a paperweight. Yep, it is a square glass paperweight. Nice base. The top is a little more slender. It does kind of taper down. And the design is painted on the back. Now this is by, I think it is a Swedish artist named um, Helga Sundström. I do believe that is how you pronounce um, the artist's name. And so then as you're looking through the paperweight, you get to see this beautiful little field of flowers with the forest and then the sun. Love this. It's a nice size too. It's kind of like the size of like a little picture that you can put on a nice surface. Okay, next up is this piece. Now, I wasn't sure um, when I was looking at things online, a lot of times, um, you know, they'll kind of illuminate the uranium glass and this one wasn't. And I thought, well, it was in a lot with some other items and I thought I'll go ahead and take a chance and see um, if that one does glow. Now you should be able to see right on the edge here that we've got a nice glow. Not sure if you'll be able to see. I know it's really hard. This one is not one of those um, big wow, it's glowing kind of pieces, but it does have a nice glow. And I think you can already see just on its own that it wants to do a little bit of glowing mostly there. It is a nice banana boat shape. And I have a feeling, yeah, if you had a 
nice cabinet with a black light. Um, if you were one of those, um, that this would really shine up in that kind of environment. Otherwise, yeah, it's got a bit of a glow. It's a nice piece of uranium glass, lovely shape. And then this does have a little bit of a base that it sits on right there. But you're going to get the most glow right on the edges here. So um, really nice. Now it does have, I will say, it was used. And so you can see, again, I haven't cleaned it up, but it might have a little bit of a um, couple of surface scratches on it. Again, we'll see when I... Um, when I clean that up a little more, it might just be a little residue from something else. Okay, moving on to another piece of glass. This one I think is a crystal bowl. It does have a nice ring to it. So I'm going to say it's like a flower petal crystal bowl. Just a wonderful little candy or nut size dish. It does sit up nicely, and then the beautiful flower petals. This would also be really nice if you had a floating candle. Um, it would, I think it would really illuminate really well. Okay, next up, I'm going to do this one because this one is a little bit of a heavy piece. Now, this is a solid crystal piece. It is gorgeous, and I think you can already see in the light that it really wants to sparkle. Is it leaded glass? I'm not sure. It has weight to it, um, but a lot of you know that I do it as much uh, cubic metric shipping as possible where weight isn't really the factor. Um, it's kind of the size of the box. So even though this does have some weight to it, it's not going to add um, any to the shipping. Now it does have a little mark here because it's signed. So it draws me right into the signature. And this is done by Orifers, which is a Swedish company. And then, oh, you can really see some of that beautiful crystal shine on it. And then there's a number on the bottom, which I think is just their um, little indicator. Now, again, I haven't cleaned this, and it does look like maybe this was on a rough surface um, to have given it just a little bit of maybe some scratches on the bottom and maybe like some keys or something were thrown in here. So again, I will do some cleaning on this and see if I can get it in nice uh, condition again. But isn't that a gorgeous bowl? Oh. I love that. Okay. Then I'm going to move on to something else that is also a little heavy because it too is a very solid piece of glass. But this is a large, look how big that is. This is a large paperweight. My goodness. And all of those beautiful bubbles on the inside. Isn't that just fantastic? Now the bottom here. Um, I was looking for a signature of some kind. I did not see one, so I'm not sure who made this, but isn't that just fun with all the different sizes of bubbles in there? That is so neat. Okay, then we will move on to the next piece, which again, yellow piece of glass. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a very, um, gosh, it's almost uh, trying, to de trying to describe, it. it's like a golden yellow, almost uh, leaning towards like a honey type of a yellow. It does have a pontal mark on the bottom, right there, and then the top. Look at all of those beautiful uniform ruffles. Oh my gosh, this is just amazing with the ruffles. I'll get down here so you can see that it's nice and clear here. And then right here is where the ruffles start. And then they go all the way up. Isn't that just fantastic? So this is a really well-made piece. Love this. And again, it is a nice kind of a honey yellow 
Um, I'll compare it with this one. So the yellow I showed earlier, which is a pretty typical um, depression glass yellow, just for reference. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that kind of federal glass yellow. This is very similar to that federal glass yellow, and it very well could be federal glass, but I want to show this one next to it and see just how different that yellow is. It is a really unique piece, not just your standard yellow, but yeah, I loved the coloring on this and loved that ruffle. So yeah, just for comparison wise with how varied um, even yellows can be, I just wanted to show those in comparison and how this kind of reminds me a little more of like a honey colored not quite an amber honey but leaning a little more towards a honey color but yeah i really liked that piece that was great okay next up i have kind of a marriage of two pieces but they go so well together i'm gonna keep them together so first up is this um, this is a danish bowl it's just a glass bowl very nicely made, beautiful little petal design on it. It is lovely. And then I've got this. Holy cow, look at this. It is like a giant marble. So this is some kind of a stone that has been all polished up. It is solid. It is gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like, like a mocha coffee. <laughs> it is so fantastic. All of the colors that are in there. And I love just how they just kind of did that random cut and just got a great variety of colors and beautifully polished. Now, there is no flat end on this marble. It really is like a marble, no flat end, like a paperweight, you know, has that flat end like this one. It's got the nice flat end there so it can sit on a counter nicely. They are just about the same size though. I will say they are quite large and just about the same size. And here it is next to my head. So you can see these are really big. I'm going to put the paperweight down and go back to here. So this bowl just happens to be the right size. This fits in here so nicely. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? And then I'll give it a little spin. It is so fun. I have to say it is really fun to just kind of give it a spin. And yeah, so if you like little things that you can fidget with, this would be great on a counter. Give it a little spin before you head out come home, give it a little spin. <laughs> it's really kind of fun to play with. And what a gorgeous design that is. Okay. Um, let me double check. I think I am to the last piece I'm going to show. And this one is really fun. Again, because you're looking at a lot of pictures and stuff, I really didn't know that it was going to be this big. Look at this. This is huge. Now, this is a handmade item. Oh, so for all you primitive lovers, for the gear workers, this is awesome. So this is a, um, what is this, Tom's? Um, yeah, Tom's Coconut Huts. I don't know what a coconut hut is, but now I really want to know what one is. I want to see a picture of one. These were one cent coconut nuts. There were 200 of them in this jar at one time. Must have something to do with a peanut. So it's Tom Huston's Peanut Company out of Columbus, Georgia. Now somebody screwed this on top. You can see right there. And they drilled a hole and they made it into a churn. And it does work. Try to balance this. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I just had to snatch this one up. So there's the gears right there. Oh, this is so great. I mean, this is so great. 
This is just so fantastic. Just the bottle itself is really cool. This is a glass bottle, very vintage glass bottle. Here is the bottom. So you can take a look at that and the numbers and everything on the bottom. And then it's got this fantastic churn on it. So this is just really awesome. Love this. Okay, so this was a really fun selection of glass. Not necessarily some of the pieces. I might not have picked up thrifting, but they were together in a lot. Um, you know, several of the items were together in lots and I said, why not? I'm going to pick those up and see what happens. But again, a nice selection of crystal and glass and just really things that I don't find out thrifting. So I was really excited to find these items. And again, if you see something you're interested in, please leave a comment below or send me an email. And um, otherwise, again, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. And I will see you next time.